Hello the kids, it is I, Strike Hat, the one and only, coming to another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, Benny got shot in the head by, uh, yours truly. So, that's dealt with now. I didn't want it to end that way. I forced my hand. Anyway, we've also figured out he's trying to uh, one-up Mr. House, and we decided we're gonna do that in his place. Because you know what? We want money, we want fame, we want glory. So why the fuck not? It would be kind of fun. I think it would be kind of fun anyway. Let's do it. Alright. Now, what we need to do is bring the platinum chip back to him. For the time being, anyway. Now, let us uh, get the hell out of here. Requires me going this way. There we go. Alright, I gotta avoid the tops people, because I just remembered I have a gun on me, and they kind of frown on that. Uh, where's the way out? There it is. There we go. Perfect. Oh, she talked to Swank, though. Is Ben hey, taken care of yet? That he is. He's dead. Huh. Guess that makes me the boss. <laughs> Ring-a-ding. <laughs> there you go. Uh, goodbye, man. Yeah, see you, kid. Yeah, see you, Swank. Alright. There we go. Let us get going. And, uh... Yeah, I do need to talk to Mr. House. That's the thing I need to do. Huh. That loading screen's taking a while. <laughs> well, more than I remember. Whoa, what? The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Your crimes against the Legion, including the death of the fearless Wulpes and Kulta, are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy again. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Okay. How did you find me here, first off? I am one of Kaisar's frumentari, an infiltrator, a spy. You were not difficult to track. Thanks. I like hearing that ever so much. Okay. You said Kaisar had an offer for me. What kind of offer? Kaisar chose not to give me that information. I was only told to find you and bring you the message. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The cursor Lucullus will be waiting. Alrighty. I wanted to say the last one. It said, if this is a trap, I'm taking you lot with me. But, uh... Yeah. Kinda didn't want to have a firefight on the strip here. That probably would not have been conducive to, uh... Nice behavior from everything else around. Anyway... How he managed to get that suit is beyond me. God damn. Anyway, let us get the hell out of here. Talk to house right now. Oh shit. <laughs> left, uh, I just left. Uh, oh fuck. I'm so used to the sprint mechanic. <laughs> it's so nice to have even though it fucks me over. Uh, come on, Cass. Let's get going. Uh, follow let's me. hit the road. Yeah, let's go. Alrighty. Now we get to talk to Mr. House. Could I go through that way? Or is that, like, a, not an option? It's the only door over on this side. If so, that kind of sucks. For me, really. But, uh, not anything else. Okay, Cass. Sorry, I'm gonna have to leave you here again. <laughs> Sorry. Sitting tight. And pretty. Well, yeah. You pretty much are. Where are you going? Head right back the fuck up. Alrighty. Now. We're gonna play a little bit of a game here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I Where to, partner? do this. And, uh, if he ends up not playing ball then some things are going to be changing a little bit. 
Uh, it, it might end up with me doing this several times. <laughs> and I might not show every one of those times. Alright, here we go. Hey there, House. How you doing? So, Benny has been handled, uh, and you've recovered the platinum chip. Let's have it. I have some questions to ask first. I'll be happy to satisfy your every curiosity once the platinum chip has been delivered. Uh, we need to discuss payment. Our terms were clear. Okay. Now that you have the chip in your possession, any attempt to renegotiate payment would be tantamount to blackmail. Well, just call me Mr. Extortion then. <laughs> ah, fuck it. There you go. Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so capacious. Yeah. So very dear. Very. Decades very. of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale. Back then, anyway. That's where the chip was printed on October 22nd, 2077. Mm -hmm. It was to have been hand-delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. But the bombs fell first. Yeah. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. Kinda, yeah. So what happens next? Well, well, what does the chip do exactly? That's what Some things are more easily shown than told. Take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level, and you'll see what I mean. Don't worry, you'll like what you see. We have much to accomplish, you and I. Alright, if you say so. Although, I'd much rather to do it just myself. Not even gonna lie. Step closer to the demonstration area, if you would. Of course. I'm gonna take whatever's in here. I expect you're well familiar with my Securitrons by now. Yeah, more or less. The titanium alloy housing that protects its electronic core deflects small arms and tries to the them in. Yeah. Its X-25 Gatling laser produced to spec by Glassing House Inc. is deadly against soft targets at medium range. Uh-huh. And for close-range suppression or crowd control, the Securitron is armed with a 9mm submachine gun. Not bad. All of this you probably already knew. More or less, what I saw it in What you did not know is that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. Oh. All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. Oh. Today, with the delivery of the Platinum Chip, all that changes. Behold, for the first time, Securitron's running the Mark II OS. The M-235 oh. missile launcher gives the Securitron a the air target at significantly longer ranges. Yeah. And a rapid-fire G-28 grenade launcher ensures the Securitron is deadly in close-range engagements. Whoa. The software upgrade also includes drivers for the Securitron's highly sophisticated onboard auto repair systems. Oh. Altogether, the Mark II software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. You actually measured that out? The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. That is Return true. Return to the penthouse now. We have much to discuss. And with that little display. I'm very sure that we could definitely deal with that. rarely so educational, don't you think? Yeah? I've since broadcast the upgrade to every Securitron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. I'm sure it is. Why show it to your hand like that? Now your enemies know what you're up to. I'm surprised you can still underestimate me after everything you've seen. No, I just like playing I it close to the chest. I have my hand. I've shown one card. I've given my enemies a single provocative datum upon which to fixate. Good point. They have no idea what other cards I'm holding. It's a strong hand, believe me. I dealt it to myself. Alrighty. You, if you say so. You think the Securitrons? We both know. We both know the Securitrons are more than enough. Especially with those weapons now on board. Well the ability to run those weapons, anyway. 
So, what happens next? To secure the future of New Vegas, I must have your assistance. Do the you? work ahead is dangerous, but you weather danger well. <laughs> You're not exactly wrong. Uh, I'm listening. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. Mm hmm. Uh, wait, what? You said Kaiser? Uh, I think that sounds insane. <laughs> what do you want me to do there? I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum chip. Uh, what's inside the hatch? Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. What's my stake in this? I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money, though there'll be plenty of that. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future. For you, and for what remains of the human race. Alright. I have some questions to ask first. What did you want to discuss? Like, I'm surprised you haven't asked what became of Benny. That's because he ceased to be relevant when you recovered the platinum chip. Revenge uh. doesn't interest me. Progress does. Sorry to deny you a moment of primate triumph, but you'll have to go elsewhere to sound your barbaric yawp. What else did you want to discuss? Rude. Rude. He shot me in the head. I can say whatever the fuck I want. Alright. Uh, what's the deal with the snow globe collection? What of it? I enjoy them. There's something about a little diorama set inside a glass dome that I find pleasing. Really? If you run across any out in the wastes, turn them in to Jane. She'll compensate you. I'm what sure else she will. did you want to discuss? Uh, let's talk about the mission after I want all. To... Yeah, let's just skip all of that. How do I open the hatch? You can't, but the chip can. The hatch will recognize the platinum chip and open sesame. Alright. I'll do as you ask. Here, take the platinum chip again. You will need it. Upon arrival at the fort, it's likely that you'll be searched and the chip taken from you. Don't worry, it will come back to you. If you if you say so, I'm taking your word on that. But for the time being, we're gonna go back to Yes Man and figure out what to do from here. Oh, the recent the Mark One at the tops has been resolved. Do not be afraid to patronize the tops. That seems like a pre-recorded message. Bin house floor. Oh, geez. I did not mean to zoom in that fast. Okay, let's go down to the casino floor, go talk to Yes Man, and see where we should go from here with this recent development to the Mark II. There's a soldier face. Oh, my. Well, I guess it makes sense. They were basically policemen... You know, with the secondary weapons, submachine gun and uh, Gatling laser. And now they're more soldiers with the explosive rockets as well. Okay. Oh! Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Uh, yes. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Of course, okay. no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. And this is where I come in. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Well, Dr. Strange diagnoses a terminally low discussion of caps in this conversation. Ah, huh, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. Well, I'm pretty sure you're not wrong. All right, I'll do it. Great. I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Sounds good. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us sniffer. to intercept data on Mr. House's network. 
You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. All right, if you say so. Let's uh, take a look at that, actually. Let's do that now. Since we're going to be pissing Mr. House off anyway, we might as well just do it now and get it over with. But, uh, first it takes a computer, which I'm pretty sure, let me just, oh, wow. Uh, this is, there we go. I'm so used to the new Pip-Boy layout that I'm so, like, thrown for a loop with the, uh, <laughs> old one. Okay, I think the computer up there. Have a nice day. Yeah, you as well. All right. Head up here. I think that's a computer there. Which I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, right over here. Oh, come on. Stupid stool. Oh, this is a hard locked one. Uh, I'd have to uh, unlock it. Huh. I guess not. Okay. That works. I guess. Didn't even let me really unlock it. Huh. Well, let's talk to uh, this lady again. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? I can't really see your face right now. Uh, I've bugged the tower for Good you. Good to hear but it looks like the bug was deactivated a few minutes after it went online. Oh. It looks like House has some kind of countermeasure in place to prevent eavesdropping on his network. Ah. Uh. We'll get through eventually, just not today. Yeah. Here are those medical supplies I promised. Hopefully you won't need to use them. Take care. Okay. Hey, hey! I'm accepted by the followers of the apocalypse, which is nice. First, I need to talk to you first. Oh, oh you are right. Hi. Thanks again for helping us with that data. I mean, the feed only lasted about 30 seconds, and it's not that useful, but, well, we tried. Yeah, I wanted to uh, ask why the data wasn't useful. We were connected for half a minute and received enough data to fill five holodisks. It looked like nonsense at first, but we decoded it. Ah. It was all biometric data, life signs from Mr. House. The technology he's using is so advanced that it samples data hundreds of times per second. Oh. It's fascinating, but depressing. Whatever technology he has can't possibly be practical for the people out here. No, probably not. Yeah, is there another way to get the data? After two tries, I think I've learned enough. I'm sure there's something more promising I could be helping the other followers with. Uh, oh yeah. I didn't tell you about the first time. I'd rather not talk about it if you don't mind. Yeah, I was about to say. Hey, I risked a lot for you to get that data feed. True. All right. The first try was a little less professional. Oh, was Someone it? important on the Strip had access to some of House's technology. Ah, uh, Specifically, Benny. a Securitron. And more specifically, the someone was Benny. I know, I know. He shot you in the head and everything. Yeah. But this was a while ago. I knew he was sleazy, but I didn't realize he was so cold-blooded. Well, uh... You didn't think to tell anyone about that? Yeah, strange as it sounds, I figured that bad-mouthing one of the Strip's most powerful people wasn't a good idea. Okay, good The only point. reason why I'm telling you any of this is because he's gone now. Yeah, yeah he is. So, did he say why he had it? He sure didn't. Benny was pretty tight-lipped and cryptic about the thing. But he did let me poke around in it for a while. I wound up helping Benny a lot more than he helped me. Once he had access to the Securitron's memory banks, he kicked me out of the tops. Big surprise, right? Should have seen that coming. Yeah, he kind of should have. What? He kind of should have. <laughs> that was unintentional. Uh, what do you have you do? The Securitron was disabled somehow. Might have been an EMP given some of the damage I saw. Ah. Uh. Anyway, he wanted it re-enabled and connected to Mr. House's data network. The trick was getting it to be invisible on the network. If Mr. Uh. House detects a rogue Securitron in his system, he remotely fries it. Oh. Getting around that security feature was a bit tricky. I bet. That sounds like it'd be hell. Anyway, see you later. See Learned you when I see you. Yeah. Learned what I needed to know. Thank you very much, pretty redhead you. All right. Talk to our other pretty redhead. Let's hit the road. Yeah, let's get going. See if we can talk to Yes Man. Uh, 
which... Oh, jeez. My recording software is being a little finicky. Uh, there we go. Pop this. And maybe he's out front of the tops right now. Maybe. Nope. No, he is not. That's annoying. Huh. Anyway, the recording software acting up is actually kind of making me a little nervous. So I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And we'll see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games for you.